In the wake of yesterday's massive tornado outbreak, the deadliest in almost 40 years, a look back at the career of Ted Fujita and the lessons that he learned from the super outbreak of 1974, and before that, the bombing of Japan. Dr. Theodore Fujita was born October 23, 1920 in Kakashua, Japan. In 1943, he went to Meiji College of Technology in Tokyo, Japan, where he became an assistant professor in the physics department in 1944. In 1971, Dr. Theodore Fujita created the Fujita Skill. This will determine what to rate the tornado. The scale was divided into six categories. F0, F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. A F0 can do light damage to houses and roofs. A F1 tornado can do weak damage to houses and move cars. A F2 tornado can do strong damage to trailers and knock down trees. A F3 tornado can do severe damage to houses and almost completely destroy it and wipe out a trailer. A F4 tornado can does devastating damage to homes in the community. A F5 tornado does incredible damage. It flattens out homes to slab and devastates communities. Dr. Fujita and his staff showed the value of the skills application surveying every tornado from the super outbreak of April 3rd through the 4th, 1974. The S scale then became the men's day to d define every tornado that has occurred in the United States. The F scale also became the heart of the tornado database that contains a record of every tornado in the United States since 1950. Since Vegeta created the Vegeta scale, he was nicknamed Mr. Tornado. Vegeta analyzed of the Palm Sunday outbreak of April 11th through the 12th, 1965, was the first symptomatic analyze of a regional outbreak. His study of damage in the Palm Sunday outbreak also led directly to his intensity scale for characterizing tornadoes. The F scale was used internationally to estimate tornado intensity based upon a severity of damage to buildings. The capstone of Fujita's work with tornadoes is considered by many to have been his work, work with the super outbreak of April 3rd to the 4th, 1974, a national scale outbreak of 148 tornadoes. Four of these tornadoes were later reclassified as downbursts by Vegeta. His maps of complex damage patterns aided to his identification of a previous undiscovered phenomenon, the downburst in the microverse. Vegeta theorized the existence of microbursts after studying the crash of Eastern Airline Flight 66 at an attempt to land at New York's JFK International Airport in June 1975. By May 29, 1978, he and his colleagues has gotten the very first microburst image with Doppler radar. Fujita also studied other forms of weather, such as thunderstorms and hurricanes. 
He pioneered novel techniques for analyzing small to mid-sized weather conditions, laying the foundation for the mesoscale analyze now carried out in weather stations all over the world. He introduced the basic concepts of thunderstorm architect including terms such as wall cloud and tail cloud that are in wide speed use today. Dr. Theodore Fujita passed away November 19th, 1998 in Chicago, Illinois in his home but his legacy lives on. May 3rd, 1999, Oklahoma City was hit by an F5 tornado with winds up to 300 miles per hour devastating the Oklahoma City metro area. It created a 38 mile path from Tikashawa through south of Oklahoma City to Moore, Oklahoma. The outbreak of May 3rd, 1999 was incredible with 75 tornadoes touch, touching down in Oklahoma that killed 46 people and injured a hundred people. On February 1st, 2007, the Vegeta scale was upgraded to the Enhanced Vegeta scale because it would advance our technology and studies about these tornadoes. Years later, in 2011, the city of Joplin, Missouri was leveled by an EF5 tornado with winds up to 200 miles per hour, devastating the town in shock with dark skies. The aftermath is devastating with 158 deaths and 1,150 injuries. Two years later, a dangerous 2.6 miles wide tornado scarred El Reno, Oklahoma forever, killing eight people and injuring 151 people and three of the dead were storm chasers. Their, their names were Tim Samaras, Paul Samaras, and Carl Young. Later that week, they raided the tornado was an EF-5, then they raided an EF-3. Even today, tornadoes are getting stronger and larger, like last year. A tornado hit Mayflower, Arkansas, rated as a EF-4, creating a 41.3 mile path, injuring many people of the community in 16 fatalities. Without Dr. Fujita, we would not be nowhere with weather phenomenons like tornadoes and other storms. He was a brilliant man and he will be missed. His leadership and legacy will live on forever and save so many lives.